Hey everybody, John Grimsmo here, bringing you yet another quarantine vlog as I fall over. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking, the purpose of these videos is quite simple. It's just to bring you guys along on what, I wouldn't say a typical day, but what my days are like uh, throughout this quarantine period. I get to be in my shop alone, learning, pushing, making new things, and also running some maintenance stuff that I have to do before, um, like on the Tornos or on the Mori or things like that. But primarily, especially now, it's learning this five axis machine. I do not claim to be an expert in any way whatsoever, but I like to learn and I like to push myself and I like to share the process. It's something I've always done for almost 10 years now. And now I just get to do it on this big fancy bad boy. So I'm gonna make mistakes. Uh, I'm gonna film some of them, not all of them. But uh, yeah, try not to judge me too harshly. <laughs> Next step, closing the loop, I'm machining the pallet that this tombstone is going to mount on. Yeah. I mean, it's simple. Four holes, and then from the back side, we have to counterbore some, uh, some counterbores. A lot of work to get here, but this should be pretty easy. Should. So the other thing I did today is I got the vices mounted to different pallets. I got two vices on now. Um, I had one of them mounted to this guy, but it was in the wrong direction. And I wanted to standardize and kind of get them both sideways. Awesome. Um, yeah, and I've got the jaws kind of inside out on this one and right side in on this one. And then the goal is going to be to mount because oh, um, I gotta I gotta mill four uh, countersink holes on the other side. It's gonna go in there. So what it's doing right now is it's interpolating with an end mill. It's pre-drilling and then interpolating with an end mill the receiver holes that these little studs are gonna go in. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking, uh, why did I machine in the features as opposed to drilling a hole and pressing in a little bushing? Um, I do have a lot of those bushings. Um, I'll show you right now. Had these for a long time. Um, I mean, I got big ones here. Those are the receivers that way, and then I got little ones here. Not exactly sure where the male side of that is, but this is the the female side. So these are good. They're they're pretty great actually. I got these from McMaster. The little radius at the top. You press this side in, and then the male side, the receiver or the you know the pin side goes into that one. Um, I just, I, I bought a kern. I want to kern them. That's the official answer right there. Ooh, that sounds a little chattery. I don't like that. It's uh, doing a bore operation with an end mill to make a clearance hole. It's going though. It's going fine. So as I make those holes on the pallet, um, I gotta check them with the gauge pins to make sure that they are exactly the size that I want. And then once I'm pretty happy, then I'm gonna test fit with the pallet itself, see if it clicks in there beautifully, and then uh, should be good. So much of what I've been doing the past few days has been like prep work. 
prepping the pallets, prepping the vices, prepping the tombstone, fixture, etc., etc. And it's good because the process allows me to learn the machine better, to do simple tasks, make them complicated, to learn my skill a little bit more, to progress. Um, sometimes taking the harder route as opposed to the easy route because I need to learn that skill and know I'm going to need it later on. So that's been very helpful. All right, she is finished. It's looking pretty good. <laughs> It's uh, it's so shiny, I thought it was wrong. I, I looked at it from here and I was looking at this feature right there. Manual focus, what are you doing on manual focus? Okay, I was looking at that feature and it looked like, I put a radius on it, right? It looked like there was a, a straight wall and then, and then the radius, but I, I just, it's so shiny and perfect that it's actually great it just looked weird see how the black on the back of it i thought that was a straight up and down wall and then the radius um but no that's that's a beautiful little rad there wow so good so yeah essentially i got one i, I got two fixture holes there and this is just a mistake proofing hole so that the pallet can only go this way not this way not 180 and then I got four through holes that, uh, let's take my tester bolts. Ooh, that's not bad. There you go. It's a good fit. It's not supposed to be a tight fit. It's a, it's a through hole, right? I want it to wiggle. So that's good. And then let's check those guys. That's important. So I could, theoretically, it should be 250. Uh, I don't know. Let's try a 249. I would say easily, but it's, it's actually kind of snug. It's kind of perfect. This side over here is so full of water, it's hard to get it, hard to get the pin in because the it's like hydraulically locked. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to open this up a little bit. So actually this would be a good chance to bring the probe in, probe the hole, and we'll see what the thing says. Step one, close the door. Step two, MDI. Step three, scroll. I love this touch screen. Okay, call the touch probe. Cycle start. Tool change. Almost there. Okay, now let's try that angle. Bit of a weird one, but it might be cool. So the probe is now in the hole. I manually jogged it in there. It doesn't have to be dead center at the moment because it'll kind of find its, its home. 
and we'll do a simple touch probe, probing center, inside not outside, yes we want inside, and then it's going to do, do the four points, it's going to go that way and then that way and, and that's it. Done. It's fast. Okay, so according to this, we have a radius of 1250, which is like bang on. Mm, something's weird. Because that times two is an eighth inch hole, or a quarter inch hole, but we are smaller than a quarter inch hole. So I'm going to play with it. I'm going to probe it a couple times up and down. I'm going to go probe the back hole, see, uh, see where we're at. So after playing with the probe for a little bit, the holes are a teensy tiny bit over undersized, um, a few tenths, but I realize I plan for five tenths clearance between the pin and the hole anyway, and the holes are a little bit under, so I'm going to try to fit this anyway. We'll just see if it fits. I mean, it did fit, it's just a little tight. Is that a bad thing? Probably not. Decided to run it just one more time. Right now I'm doing it at the exact same settings as before, just in case I can open it up just a hair, um, but I can easily comp the uh, wear table, the wear compensation as well. Make it a teensy bit bigger. That's better. That's it for me guys. I have success, the pallet fits on the thing. And then tomorrow we just gotta flip the pallet over, mill the counterboards for the heads of the bolts. And then we can get rocking on the rest of that machining of the pallet, of the tombstone. So that's exciting. All right, later guys, bye.